Horrifying case of 16-year-old Suzanne Capper, part 2, and a trigger warning for child death, child torture, drug usage, and overall graphic content. Things started to get much worse in the house for Suzanne around November of 1992. Jane and Bernadette had yet another drug-fueled party, and it was very normal for Jane and Bernadette to sleep with different men in exchange for drugs. And before we continue, this is also a trigger warning for racism. So at this party in November of 1992, there was a man named Mohammed Yusuf. And Suzanne suggested that Jean sleep with him, which shouldn't have been an unusual suggestion because that's what they did there. And this suggestion really angered Jean, and she later told police that she gave Suzanne a good hiding for trying to make her go with an Arab. And a hiding is a punishment that consists of being beaten repeatedly. A few days later, Suzanne allegedly told the neighbors that Jean had tied her up for four days. But none of the neighbors believed her. Now at some point between November of 1992 and December of 1992, Jean, Bernadette, Anthony, and Glenn, who was 